In this video, we will show you the new masking feature of Wondershare Filmora 12. First, choose the footage you want to add mask in the timeline. Simply click on the footage to open the editing panel. Under the Video tab, click on Mask. Here you can see the different types of masking presets. You can also import your own mask by clicking on this icon, or disable any mask by clicking here. First of all, we have the Draw Mask tool. This is very helpful if you want to draw your own custom mask. By clicking on this icon, you get a properties panel with more options for controlling and customizing your mask. When you hover your mouse cursor over the preview window, it transforms into a pen tool. Pressing the left click button on your mouse will create a starting point for the mask. You can create as many points as you want by clicking in the preview window. You can also drag these points to adjust accordingly. In order to finish drawing your mask, you need to click on the starting point of the mask to complete the loop. You will see only the area covered with the mask shape is visible and everything else gets hidden in the preview window. Then from the properties panel, you can increase or decrease your mask area by using the extend slider. You can also use the blur slider to remove any sharp edges around your mask. You also have the options for opacity control as well as inverting the mask. If you want to animate your mask properties, simply click here to create a keyframe for any specific property. Or click here if you want to animate all of these properties. It will create a keyframe at the point where your playhead is currently placed on the project timeline. You can then move your playhead forward where you want your animation to end, and then change the properties accordingly. If something is not right, you can always click on this undo icon and start again. You can also save this mask as a preset by clicking on Save as Custom button. That way, you won't have to draw this mask again and simply apply it on your future videos with a single click. Next, we also have different types of shapes for easy masking, such as rectangle, circle, parallel lines, linear, love, and star. Let's create a star mask transition effect. Select the star mask. Let's invert the mask by activating this toggle icon. Place the playhead at the center of the footage because that's where we want our mask to start. Let's activate the keyframe in front of scale property and bring down the scale slider to 0%. Also, set the blur strength as 10% to make the edges a bit smoother. Move the playhead a few frames forward where we want to end the transition. And now increase the scale value to move the star out of the frame. Now we have successfully animated our star mask and the keyframes are visible on the footage in the timeline. Let's play the video. Looks cool, right? No matter which shape you choose, you can always drag your mask in the preview window to adjust it and the Properties panel to further stylize and customize it. This gives you the flexibility to draw any type of mask on your videos. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel to keep getting awesome Filmora tutorials. Hope to see you in our next video. Till then, bye!